Antitrust laws always had competition about price. It's also had competition about things that aren't priced, like the quality of your shirt or, or how good the warranty is. In the information age, we've seen the companies competing on search privacy. So we've actually, in the last year, had Microsoft make an announcement that they were going to delete records after 18 months, and then Google matched that to a certain extent. And then just a couple of months ago, Ask.com uh, made an announcement for its Ask Eraser competing on search privacy. So one of the things is, if we have uh, mergers, if there's fewer people playing in the search market, that might affect how much they compete on privacy. That's a concern for antitrust law. It's a concern for consumers who want to make sure that we have innovations on privacy as we have the other innovations in search engines. So one question is how much uh, mergers of internet companies will affect privacy. Well, one thing you notice is if there's a database in one company and a database in another company, the merger might put those together. Then there's things about different parts of your life that are being put together. Now, to some extent, this already happens inside one company. If you go to Google Maps and they're able to link that to your Google search, uh, Google Maps might tell them, for instance, what your home address is because you keep putting it in the directions. And that's one of the things that we see already inside one company. But when you merge the big databases, you've got issues of what's getting merged. Um, that might turn out to be good. Maybe the companies that merge will turn out to improve their practices. It might turn out that people didn't suspect all this data was going to be put into one place. And then the question is, will the Federal Trade Commission, will the European regulators, will somebody step in and make sure the privacy protections are in place? What kind of privacy solutions should merging companies consider? In a lot of ways, the answer is the privacy solutions they should have before the merger. They should give you notice of what uh, they're doing with your data. They should give you choice before it goes to some other place. And a big issue that's emerging now is they should, I think, give you choice before doing behavioral profiling. That means before they decide what to do with you as you go around the website and around the web. The Federal Trade Commission has hearings going on right now saying that maybe we really should have some choices about when we're tracked and when we're not tracked behaviorally. And uh, if, that, uh, if those protections get put in place, if maybe in the long run we have some federal privacy legislation that sets basic standards, then I think that works both before the mergers and after the mergers.